Bonjour les élèves, aujourd'hui on va commencer l'unité 5 avec le titre « Vive le sport ».« Vive le sport » means « Long live sports » or « Yay for the sports ». This is the main title of the unit. We will learn several grammar elements that uh, we will discuss in a minute. But first, let's look at the proficiencies. We will cover interpersonal communication. I will let you pause and read the instructions here or the information. We will cover also presentational speaking and writing and interpretive listening and reading. So here are the proficiencies. So hopefully you paused and you read uh, all the information. A little overview of uh, Unité 5, Vive le Sport, uh, will cover four lessons, Leçon 17, with the title, Le Sport, c'est la santé. Sports makes you healthy. And Leçon 18, with the title, Un vrai sportif, a real athlete, or a true athlete. Leçon 19, with the title, Jérôme se lève. Jérôme wakes up. Leçon 20 has the title J'ai voulu me dépêcher. I wanted to hurry up. And here are the themes and objectives of the unit. I will let you pause and read all the instructions. The essential questions for the unit are How do we take care of our bodies and stay fit? And what are the similarities and differences between the types of sports and exercises practiced in different cultures? Let's start right away with Leçon 17. Here are the learning targets or les cibles d'apprentissage. I can comprehend and communicate about sports active lifestyles and wellness, I can refer to the parts of the body and how someone is feeling. So here there is a little aperçu culturel or a little uh, cultural uh, insight about le sport en France, sports in France. I will let you pause and read or you can go to this slide and click on the audio and listen to the instructions. Okay, practice your interpretive listening skill and your pronunciation. You might want to pause and repeat the sentences. So let's start right away. In this video, we will cover mainly the vocab and the grammar, and you will do, as usual, the activities that accompany this lesson as soon as you're done. So now you are watching the video and you are filling in the notes, d'accord? So let's uh, look at the new vocabulaire of les sports individuels, individual sports. Let's look at these uh, questions and answers that are part of a conversation. Tu es sportif? Are you athletic? Sportif means athletic for a male, for a masculine form. And sportive is a feminine form of athletic. Tu es sportif or sportive? Oui, je fais du sport. I play sports. So faire is to do, right? It's the verb to do, but it could be used in this context. Faire du sport, it means to exercise. Oui, je fais du sport. Quel sport est-ce que tu pratiques? Quel sport est-ce que tu pratiques? What sports do you practice or do you do? Je fais de la gymnastique et du jogging. Est-ce que tu cours beaucoup? Je cours 20 km par semaine. So do you run a lot? I run 20 km per week par semaine. So we have the verb pratiquer which means to practice and we have the verb Courir, which means to run. Now, we know that pratiquer is an ER verb and it's conjugated like any regular ER verb. Je pratique, tu pratiques, il pratique, and so forth. But let's look at the verb courir. Courir in the infinitive. Uh, and here is the present tense. This, this is how we conjugate it. So pause and repeat, s'il vous plaît. Je cours, tu cours, il, elle, on court, nous courons. Vous courez, il et elle courent. So the S, S, T consonants are silent. And here we have cour in the plural also. It's pronounced exactly like the singular form. So il court sounds like il court in the plural, singular versus plural. In the passé composé, it's j'ai couru. It's conjugated with the verb avoir. And the past participle is couru. 
And of course, I've provided you here on this slide with all the vocabulary, with the audio of all the vocabulary. You're welcome to click and listen and repeat. Quelques sports individuels. Now let's learn about several uh, sp individual sports. Le jogging, le jogging, répétez. Le patinage, le patinage, le patin à roulette, le patin à roulette, le roller, le roller, le skate or le skateboard, le skateboard, le ski, le ski, le ski nautique, le ski nautique, or aquatic. Ski, right? Water skiing. Le surf, le surf. Le snowboard, le snowboard. Le surf des neiges, le surf des neiges. Le vélo, le vélo. Le VTT, le VTT. L'escalade, l'escalade. La marche à pied, la marche à pied. La gymnastique, la gym, or la gymnastique. L'équitation. Notice the pronunciation of l'équitation, l'équitation. La natation, la natation. La voile, la planche à voile, la planche à voile. L'entraînement, l'entraînement. OK, so let's continue with the new vocab words. Uh, and here we will look at les parties du corps. Uh, body parts, les Partie du corps. So, partie is a feminine noun and it ends with E. D'accord? Les parties du corps. So, we have le corps, the body or body, le corps. We have l'épaule, l'épaule, un doigt, un doigt. The G and the T are silent. La main, la main, le bras, le cœur, le cœur, le dos, le dos. La jambe, la jambe, le ventre, le ventre, l'estomac, l'estomac, le genou, le genou, le pied, le pied, la tête, la figure, la figure, les cheveux, or even faster, les cheveux, les cheveux, un œil, un œil. Notice the OE, they should be attached. It's called OE attaché, and they should be followed by an I or E. And it's pronounced I, I. And in the plural, an I becomes les yeux. Les yeux, and we do the liaison, it becomes les yeux. Le nez, le nez. Une oreille, une oreille. Une oreille, la bouche, la bouche. Une dent, une dent, le cou, le cou. So here are the body parts. Now let's learn some more vocabulary and I hope you're filling out your lesson notes. And the title of the vocabulary here is un peu de gymnastique, a little gymnastics. Un peu de gymnastique. So you can say, je lève le bras droit. I raise my right arm. Je lève le bras droit. Je lève le bras gauche. Je plie les jambes. Je plie les jambes. Je mets les mains derrière le dos. Je mets les mains derrière le dos. Je mets les mains sur la tête. Je mets les mains sur la tête. So, lever means to raise and plier. Plier means to bend. Lever is conjugated like acheter, like this. Je lève, tu lèves, il lève, nous levons. Vous levez, il lève. Ok? So let's continue with the vocabulary of la santé. La santé. Ça va? How are you? How is it going? Ça va? So here it's ça va bien. Here the smiley face indicates that somebody is feeling well and the sad face, of course, that somebody is not feeling well. And let's look at the different expressions we can use to express how we're feeling physically. Ça va? Oui, ça va. 
Or no, ça ne va pas, ça ne va pas, ça ne va pas. So ne pas go around the verb va. Je suis en forme, je suis en forme. Répétez. Je ne suis pas en forme, je ne suis pas en forme. Je suis en bonne santé, je suis en bonne santé. Je suis en mauvaise santé. Je suis en mauvaise santé. Je me sens bien. Or, je ne me sens pas bien. Je ne me sens pas bien. Ça va mieux. Ça va mieux. So, to ask somebody what's wrong or what's the matter, we say, qu'est-ce que tu as? Qu'est-ce que tu as? Or like, what do you have? Qu'est-ce que tu as? Je suis, uh, and this could be the answer, je suis malade. I'm sick, je suis malade, je suis fatigué, with an E for the feminine form, je suis fatigué. Or you can say, j'ai la grippe, literally, I have the flu, j'ai la grippe, or j'ai un rhume, un rhume, a cold. So la grippe, grippe is feminine, but un rhume, rhume is masculine. Où est-ce que tu as mal, means where does it hurt? Où est-ce que tu y as mal? Literally, the sentence means where do you have pain? Où est-ce que tu as mal? J'ai mal à la tête. I have pain in my head or I have a headache or my head hurts. J'ai mal au ventre. I have pain in my stomach. J'ai mal au ventre or I have a stomach ache. J'ai mal au dos. J'ai mal aux oreilles. Répétez. And to indicate uh, where you have a pain or where you are sore, you use the construction avoir mal, to have pain, so you have to conjugate avoir, like we did here, avoir mal au, or a l apostrophe if the noun is masculine, or à la, or a l apostrophe if the body part is feminine, or you can say o in the plural form if the body part is plural, like aux oreilles, uh, my ears are hurting, d'accord? Okay, so here we come to the end of this lesson, leçon 17. So hopefully you paused and repeat. Don't hesitate to uh, play this video many times and to listen to the audios as needed. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir.